Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. This is the true story of Holly Pendleton and Chris Mayer. If you do not like true crime, this one's not for you. All right, here we go. It was a beautiful summer night on August 29th, 1997. Holly and Chris were at a party at the University of Kentucky just off campus. I guess the party was pretty lame, so Holly, Chris, and another couple walked two blocks over to the railroad tracks just to kind of like chill and get some air. Around midnight, the couple that Holly and Chris were with decided to head back to the party. Not long after their friends left, Chris and Holly started getting bored too and decided to head back to the party. So as they're walking back to the party, this guy jumps out from behind an electrical box and immediately starts asking them for money. Holly was actually the first one to speak up and say, we don't have any cash, but take our credit cards. Apparently that wasn't good enough though, so the guy who's holding a pickaxe ties them up. Holly said in a later interview, it was obvious this guy had done this before. So after he ties them up, he gags them. Holly was smart enough, though, to kind of push her tongue forward so he couldn't get the gag far back enough that she could still speak. Holly said she then started asking him questions, just any questions she could think of to help, you know, reason with this guy. Uh, but she said every answer he gave was just total nonsense. Holly wasn't exactly sure how long this had gone on, but at one point he walks away and comes back with a 52-pound rock. It's at that point, for literally no reason, this guy hits Chris in the head with this 52-pound rock and kills him. After he hit Chris, he starts to sexually assault Holly. Holly, who was just a young girl and protective of her body, begged him to put her pants back on when he was done, which he did do. So after the guy is done raping Holly, he grabs this wooden plank and starts beating her with it. She falls into unconsciousness and he believes she's dead and leaves. Holly said she had no idea how much time had passed, but she did regain consciousness and sort of stumble to the closest house she could find. She didn't even knock. She just walked right in begging them to call 911, which they did, of course. Holly was treated at the hospital for a broken jaw, broken eye socket, and a stab wound to the neck. Police searched for 18 months for the perpetrator and had no luck. Eventually, police link Holly and Chris's attack to this guy. Angel Resendez, also known as the Railroad Killer, this serial killer had killed 23 different people. On June 27, 2006, he was put to death by lethal injection. His last words were, I deserve what I'm getting. Like and follow for more. Bye, guys.